From a nomadic footballing career to a promising managerial career, Mikel Arteta is injecting hope into Gunners fans again, but it's his glorious lifestyle that we are really interested in because it beats every imagination. His personal life, luxury properties, and net worth are definitely worth mentioning. This is Arteta's lifestyle. Mikel Arteta Amatrian was born on the 26th of March 1982 in San Sebastian, Spain, and was raised by his parents, Kalyu Aru and Lee Halen Aru. Only that much information is known about his family as he never talks about them in his interviews. As a child, Arteta suffered from an uncommon heart disease in which his heart didn't get enough clean blood. His parents sought medical intervention for him to ensure his safety, having observed in him a keen interest in playing football. Doctors would say to them that their son would never be able to play any sport. Luckily, Arteta wasn't deterred as he was often found crafting his skills on the beach near his home in Gaiamatia, the little San Sebastian city. He often did this with his friend Zabi Alonso. Everyone thought Arteta's interest in soccer would wane over time, but against their prediction and his doctor's verdict, he decided to further his career, and here's how it turned out. Arteta's early years as a player were nomadic in a sense. In 1991, he played for Antiguoco, an amateur youth club with his friend Zabi Alonso, and six years later, at age 15, he got a chance to join his favorite club, Barcelona FC, a dream that seemed too good to be true. There, he came into contact contact with Pep Guardiola, his boyhood idol and later on coaching mentor. The Spaniard debuted as a substitute in the club's B team. Chances in the first team were few and far between for teenagers, even though he was one of the brightest players, so he left for PSG on loan after four years. Thereafter, he clinched a permanent deal with Rangers FC before returning to Real Sociedad and finally moving to the UK in 2005, a move he described as one of the best decisions in his life. While in England, Arteta had his major career breakthrough with Everton, where he played for six years before moving to Arsenal, where he rose to the position of captain and won the FA Cup twice. With many other individual and club honors to his name, the linchpin midfielder retired from professional football in 2016 at the age of 34. Following his retirement, the former Gunners captain had three options. The first was to lead Arsenal's academy, the next was to join the backroom staff at Tottenham Hotspur, and finally to join the coaching team at Manchester City. He opted for the third offer, where he had the chance to become an assistant coach to his former idol and boss, Pep Guardiola. This he did for three years before heading back to Arsenal as head coach in 2019, winning the FA Cup in his first year. With this triumph, his title was changed to manager in September 2020 to reflect his wider responsibilities. Currently, he is in a prime position to change Arsenal's fortunes for good as they continue to search for their first Premier League title since 2004. But before we get carried away with his football exploits, let's take a sneak peek into his personal life. Behind every successful man is a great woman, and this holds true for the shrewd manager. Arteta is happily married to his glamorous wife, Lorena Bernal, who is a Spanish model, TV presenter, and actress. She was born in 1981 in Argentina and had moved to Spain at the age of nine. In 1999, she became Miss Spain and made it to the top 10 finalists at the Miss World Beauty Pageant. We don't know of any girlfriends that Arteta had before Lorena. This couple met in 2002 and dated for eight years before heading to the altar on the 17th of July 2010. Their union is blessed with three boys, Gabriel, Daniel, and Oliver. How the Gunners manager lives away from his stunning beauty queen remains a mystery. Distance has never posed a threat to their relationship and they support each other. Arteta lives in London while Lorena lives with their children in Los Angeles, where she appears in various American and Spanish productions as an actress. The Arsenal boss is quite conservative and is not given to the lavish lifestyle. He maintains a decent and well-rounded lifestyle, which makes it a tough ask attempting to track his spending habits. He isn't big on religion, but he is a Christian and belongs to the Roman Catholic denomination. Also, he is not known to have any tattoos on his body. For fitness, the 41-year-old enjoys playing tennis and keeps up with the sport sometimes engaging in training sessions with famous tennis stars. Arteta also enjoys watching movies, listening to music, as well as spending quality time with family and friends. 
With the lucrative amount of money earned in football, both as a player and a coach, Arteta has no worries when it comes to owning the most expensive properties. He was said to have been offered the chance to buy Unai Emery's home after the latter was relieved of his duties at Arsenal, but he declined. He owns a decent apartment in North London. The tactician drives an American Cadillac Escalade and is often spotted driving it to training sessions. The luxury SUV makes a statement of its own. Exclusivity built with outstanding craftsmanship of fitting for Arteta's profile. I bet superfans like you and I would like to know how much the coach is worth. The Spaniard has garnered considerable wealth over the years. His current salary at Arsenal is a whopping 8.3 million pounds per year, equivalent to 159,600 euros per week. Not bad for a coach with such an impressive pedigree. There are other juicy incentives, at least with the contract, and these things keep him on his toes to always ensure a stellar team performance and to keep the fans happy. Arteta's net worth is estimated to be around 20 to 25 million dollars, and he gives a decent amount back to charity. Arteta actively participates in the wide range of charity projects organized by the Arsenal Foundation each season to support the needy and vulnerable in society, especially children. His frequent donations, together with those of the coaching crew, players, and other staff members, are collected by bucket collectors such as Save the Children and Willow Foundation. His commitment to these noble causes has helped to raise awareness to help those in need. He also created the Mikel Arteta collection, featuring the classic Arsenal crest and cannon, as well as the iconic Team Talk artwork seen on Amazon's All or Nothing series. 65% of the purchase of each collection, including t-shirts and mugs, goes to the Arsenal Foundation. Unfortunately, he has also had his fair share of controversies. Behind his cool and charming demeanor, Arteta has proven to be unrelenting in stamping the foot of his authority on his players when the need arises. The likes of Matteo Genduzzi, Mesut Ozil, Nikola Pepe, Granit Xhaka, and a host of others are recipients of his heavy-handed approach. More recently, the Arsenal boss has been accused of damaging Arsenal and football in general with his touchline antics of regular outbursts at match officials when things don't go his way. Some refer to him as the serial offender who needs to realize that he is no longer a player and his new role as a manager calls for a certain level of decorum. It is a known fact that criticisms come with being a public figure and opinions may vary, but Arteta has continued to remain rock solid and effective in the discharge of his duties in the midst of it all. One of the most intriguing things about Mikel Arteta is that he has a rare ability to speak seven different languages. He speaks Spanish, Basque, Catalan, and English fluently and has a good command of Italian, French, and Portuguese. Managers need to be multilingual as their role requires them to travel a lot and interact with people of different races. Since there would always be the need to manage different clubs or countries, you'd bet Arteta's done a great job. Another interesting fact about Arteta is that he never had an international call-up at senior level. His emergence into the football world was at a period when Spain had several high-quality players available for his position. He was regarded as one of the few high-profile football personalities in contemporary times to have zero senior international caps, having only played for Spain at youth level. Thankfully, he has always managed to rise above every limitation.